Hello, I'm Atindra Chaturvedi. In the previous uh, video, we worked very extensively on the ESXi uh, command line the, in the ESXi uh, shell and uh, looked at the ESXL, ESXLI network uh, command very extensively. In this video, we are going to look at the custom TCP IP uh, stacks. Managing custom TCP IP stacks is now possible in version 6 uh, because uh, now on the uh, command line, there is the ability to actually create new TCP IP stacks. Uh, there are three stacks that are uh, implemented when you install uh, ESXi 6.0. Uh, you have the default stack that's used for everything else. And uh, then there is the provisioning uh, stack and the vMotion stack, which are initially uh, not utilized. So one has to know that they exist uh, to be able to use uh, either vMotion or uh, provisioning on those uh, stacks. In addition, there is the ability to create custom TCP IP stacks. So with that, let's move to our lab. We are now in the VMV, uh, VMware vSphere web client and uh, I'm logged in into my 192.168.0.201 uh, server here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it has uh, six NICs that we will uh, use during our uh, course. Let's uh, look at a few things here. Go to the Manage tab and look at Networking. And what you see up here in the TCP IP configuration is that there are three stacks defined default provisioning and vmotion and if i scoot this across uh, you can see that the default stack has one vm kernel adapter uh, basically plugged in into it and uh, there's a gateway ip address uh, assigned to it as well as if i move across there is a preferred uh, well there are some ip v6 and as well uh, addresses as well as well as alternate and preferred uh, dns uh, servers so in the system stacks area there are three default provisioning and vmotion let's look at default by clicking on that you can see that it has dns it has a routing uh, it has routing it has the ipv4 routing table a v6 routing table and some advanced uh, configurations uh, like uh, new reno and the cubic and some maximum number of uh, connections so it's kind of a, a default setup for that stack it's also called default if you click on the uh, provisioning stack uh, you can see uh, there's nothing that's uh, set up yet basically for that and when the first vm kernel is actually plugged into it that's when it uh, it becomes operational and same thing with vmotion when we uh, uh, set up a vm kernel for vmotion we can uh, define this uh, tcp ip stack so you now have the ability during uh, uh, the uh, provisioning of uh, uh, VM kernel adapters uh, to specify and so we're going to actually try and do that uh, I'm going to uh, define a new VM kernel adapter hit next we select the standard switch uh, click next now when the new VM kernel is being defined we have some other options available like the new TCP IP stack and you can de define uh, provisioning or uh, vMotion if you select uh, vMotion then the checkbox for vMotion is automatically uh, enabled if you check uh, provisioning then the checkbox of provisioning is automatically enabled which means that these two stacks can only be used for vmotion and provisioning because everything else is grayed out so i'm not going to go uh, forward with this basically what you have to do is to you know put in the uh, ipv4 settings so you can either use dhcp or static can ip4 address and so on dns server addresses and everything else so it's it's all the normal parameters that one would actually use I'm going to cancel out of it because uh, we are interested in uh, custom and to do custom TCP IP stacks we have to go to the command line so here we are at the uh, command line for that same system dot uh, 201 let's key in ESX uh, CLI network IP and hit the enter key and uh, we see that uh, we have now a command called net stack which is operations having to do with the creation management and deletion of vm kernel next sta net stack uh, uh, instances so i retrieve that key in net stack hit the enter key and now it tells me i have the ability to use the add get list remove or set which will configure new settings uh, for a given net stack instance let's just do a list first it's always a good idea 
and it shows us that uh, there is basically the default TCP IP stack and the reason the provisioning and vMotion don't uh, don't show up right now because there are no VM kernel adapters that are uh, attached to it. So I clear this and we go and back to net stack add hit the enter key and uh, with a capital N and a string I can create a new uh, net stack so I say add dash n and I say packed stack a new TCP IP custom stack for packed publishing now when I say list I will see my packed stack already uh, available there now there's nothing plugged into it there's no vm kernel uh, in it now the rest of the configuration obviously can be done from here because if i say uh, net stack you'll see that one of the commands is to set configure the settings for a given net uh, the net stack instance and we can actually try it out by hitting clear again ip uh, net stack and uh, then we say set and it, it wants a parameter dash n and then it can be enabled and here we go a network stack uh, instance uh, maximum number of connections we uh, saw that uh, can enable it there's a tcp congestion control uh, cubic and new reno and we will talk about this uh, briefly in this uh, video as well so i think it's time to go back to see to our uh, client again and uh, see what shows up in our web client so we are back in our uh, web client and uh, we will refresh that and now you see that there is a custom stack section and in there there's something called a packed stack i could click on that with a pencil i can edit it there's a name the dns configuration so i can enter my preferred uh, dns server 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. I can go to my alt, the alt DNS server 8.8.4.4. I'm going to complicate things with search domains and I click OK. And uh, I see that my DNS. This. There we go. Uh, it has been uh, updated. Sometimes you have, to use, you have to use the refresh if uh, that doesn't happen. OK, let's uh, look at editing now the. Uh, VM kernel gateway, there's nothing out there, so we uh, edit that as well. Uh, we can act at the routing configuration, the VM kernel uh, gateway can be assigned for this, and then you know the advanced uh, congestion control algorithms. Uh, now, there are two options available uh, New Reno and uh, Cubic. Now, the most interesting part of New Reno and uh, Cubic is uh, that these are two new congestion control um, algorithms. Uh, I will show you just uh, briefly uh, what they are. Uh, you can do the rest of the research uh, yourself. So let me shift over to websites where uh, this information is available. So this is the information for uh, New Reno. The New Reno modification applies to the fast recovery procedure when you receive three duplicate acts and ends when either a retransmission timeout or an act arrives. So this is uh, uh, basically uh, it's an extension to RFC 5681 and this information is available here as an RFC uh, this is RFC 5681 and then you know it actually documents a couple of other things uh, as well and this is a uh, cubic uh, the earlier algorithm was called a BIC but now it looks like they're using a cubic function that goes like this and uh, this is uh, used again to uh, fast start uh, and the new TCP mode here to fast start uh, TCP IP after uh, congestion. So we can select our congestion control algorithm. It's a it's a it's a nice uh, feature because uh, when when congestion happens and you have to you know a fast uh, start try and fast start TCP IP there can be significant uh, uh, delay. So these are uh, good algorithms to actually uh, use up here. Okay, so I will uh, just maybe select uh, Cubic and uh, click uh, OK and uh, basically that is how the packed stack is done we are now back into our uh, command line and uh, i will retrieve this and remove 
dash n c k t s t a c k our custom tcp ip pack stack when i list it uh, i'll just see the default tcp ip stack uh, there again so it's a, a very useful thing uh, most of the work has to be done on the command line but it's uh, but it does show up in the web client so we just finished our look at custom uh, tcp ip stacks we created a new tcp ip stack called packed stack uh, we saw how when we create a new vm kernel adapter the option to use that stack actually uh, shows up at that point in time um, we then uh, look to see uh, the various options uh, that we could uh, use for congestion control there is new new reno and the cubic to a cu uh, quick look at that as well uh, and then we went back to the command line to uh, delete that uh, tcp ip stack so with this we move on to our next video which would be working with vSphere 6 virtual machines and i look forward to seeing you there